Ooh, every time I put these on, like I just feel like. Oh yeah, uh, uh. I'll for him, man. Yeah. Here we go, turn it up, let it start. From block to block, we're snatching hearts and jacking marks. And the punk police can't play me and baby. We can have peace someday, G. But right now I got my mind set up. Look at that barrel, I'm a knock. Get up. Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brianna Rochelle. If you are new here or if you have not done it already, please make sure you click on that subscribe button down below. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys just where I get some of my affordable designer sunglasses. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. So most of y'all know I love a good pair of sunglasses. <laughs> One of my coworkers actually told me it's raining, why are you wearing sunglasses? I can tell if you're having a bad day because you're not wearing sunglasses into work. And baby, that's true. Like, if I'm not wearing my glasses, something is probably wrong with me. But um, I wanted to share with you guys just where I got a few of my designer sunglasses. Some of these may not be available because I've had some of these for maybe a year, two plus years. Um, so maybe a little bit hard, but I'll do what I can for you guys. And per usual, everything will be linked down in the description box below. So let's just Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first up, we're going to be talking about my favorite, like, tortoise type pair. These are from Emilio Pucci, and what drew me in, y'all already know, was this little, like, detail here on the arm of the sunglasses. These were originally priced at, hold on, y'all. <laughs> These were originally priced at $2.50. I got them for $87 on the rack, and y'all already know I'm a Nordstrom fanatic um, these are definitely a great go-to if you're not looking for a super dark lens you still want to be able to see like i feel like they're great for driving if you like to drive with sunglasses and they're just like really super stylish so next up we have some tory birch pairs i'm going to warn you guys i got these at the outlet i'm gonna see if they're available on the rack so i'll try and link them down below if not y'all i'm so sorry please visit your local outlet to see what similar shapes styles that they have there the first pair is kind of like this butterfly like lens or whatever and it does have like the Tory Burch T here and there and this is actually what drew me in because I really just like the little T in the front like just really minimal but still let me all know like baby this ain't no regular degular thing okay <laughs> but um again I really just like big sunglasses for my face um most times if I'm wearing my sunglasses and I'm like not working i typically don't have any makeup on and i just feel like a good pair of sunglasses always pulls the look together i think i got these for like maybe around 80 bucks or whatever um so again check out your local tory birch outlet to see if they have anything like this next up we have the lady dior stud 57 mm special fit square glasses and y'all when i got these i wore these to death like <laughs> i'm surprised that they held up how i wore them but um if you guys are very familiar with the lady dior like it does have that similar like motif hair in the arms it says dior hair um i really really love these like these are a darker lens so if you don't want to see your eyes like this is definitely a great go-to I cannot find these online anymore. I'm gonna tell you though, they were $3.80 originally and I got them for $99 at the rack. I found the receipt, which I was hoping that the receipt would have the link where I can click and go to the rack and find them for you guys. But y'all, these are not out there anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, but I really, really love these. They're just like a classic black frame with hints of gold. Y'all know like for the most part, like most of my jewelry is gold. Um, so I feel like this was a great addition to my sunglass family. So next up we have the Dior Solite 2. I bought the Solite 2 thinking it was going to look like the Solite 1. And I like them. I just didn't like them as much as I would have liked the Solite 1. So I'll just show you guys what they look like on. <laughs> it does have the uh, Dior logo here on the arm. So it's just a smaller version of the Solite 
one again i really wanted the so light one because there's just like that big frame and i feel like it was perfect for when i'm running around again like just don't look at me i'm not wearing makeup but um these were definitely a great buy too as well i think i got these for like 90 bucks um i see the designer optics still has them so i'll link them below but you guys may have to wait or sign up for like a wait list for the black i see that the light pink is available for purchase at the moment so um you may be waiting a little if you want to purchase the so light twos when i went into the dior boutique here in dallas they did say that the reason that they stopped manufacturing them were because they would break very easily and i know i had seen a few youtube uh youtube reviews on that being like the number one issue around the glasses so hopefully like in the future they'll probably manufacture something that's a little bit more durable that kind of has a similar silhouette because i was in love like i couldn't even get my hands on them so <laughs> but i'll keep a lookout and i'll keep y'all posted if you are interested too in purchasing these so like ones i'll definitely come back and share that with you guys as well and lastly these two are honorable mentions because every time i wear them i get so many compliments on them the first pair when i tell y'all where i got them like y'all are gonna say no <laughs> this pair right here y'all like this pair is from the dollar tree hold on let me wipe off some of the smudges so y'all can see like i really like these Oh, every time I put these on, like I just feel like. <laughs> but these were from the Dollar Tree. Like I walked in, I don't know what I was looking for, and I saw these, and I was like, you know what? It's a dollar. If I don't like them, I've definitely got my cost per wear with these because I wore these to death. Like you could see, like how the plastic is like just lifting up from like. You know the little coating that they put on top like you can see like how bad i've worn these so they're on break time right now for my new favorite every days these are the loewe square 57 mm sunglasses and y'all y'all cannot tell me these are not bad like i bought these online because i was like oh like i like them i like what they look like and i had never seen like anybody in person wearing them so when i purchased them and i got them i was like this right here is what <laughs> this is it um here you can see like the little away logo and then like on the arm of the sunglass you can see like the little the little like loewe symbol but these these were close to full price when i purchased them you know how like Saks has you know 25 percent off family and friends i think i got these when they were running like some type of online promo so paid close to full price i think these retail for about 380 um and i got 25 percent off and you know what for the price i am in love and y'all know i'm all about cost per wear so i'm definitely gonna get good cost per wear out of these like i just feel like these are just unique they're just something different from my other styles because i feel like for the most part like i typically have like the square the butterfly these just have a different like shape to them so i am in love all right you guys go ahead and share in the comments y'all know i love to hear it where do you get some of your sunglasses favorites i'm just sharing with you guys a few of my designer sunglass favorites y'all already know i like to switch it up as you can tell i get them from the dollar tree so not all of my sunglasses are going to be of a higher dollar price point these are just like my favorite like my everyday grabs um if you would say like these are more often like in my rotation but go ahead and share down below any sunglass gems that you have come across any little websites that you know got a little a little style for the low low you know your girl is always open to a good deal again thank you guys so much for watching this video and i cannot wait to see you all in the next one